Ship. That's going to do it for us at 5 o'clock, but there is much more still ahead. The news at 6 with Jack and Lisa starts now. Tracking not one but two storms this weekend, when to expect the worst of it? Ending the war in Iraq. There are some Americans who want to stay in Iraq longer and some who want to leave fast. When the president says he'll bring the troops home. Brand new to the world. This bear cub's only about a month old. Not much life experience yet, but researchers are hoping she can teach them something. And Patriots veteran Mike Vrabel traded where he's headed and who else the Pats cut loose. This is WBZ News at 6. How about that? A taste of spring today, but we're about ready to snap back to reality with a taste of winter this weekend. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jack Williams. And I'm Lisa Hughes. Great weather today for running, walking the dog, anything you could do outside. We hit a high of 59 in Boston. I want to get to Chief Meteorologist Ken Barlow right now. And Ken, looking at this, it's sad it's going to change so much. The melting snow today and then more snow piling up on Sunday. You know, we call this a spring tease because we were teased today. It was just beautiful. The storm is coming. Actually, two storms are coming. Here is the time frame now. Storm number one comes in Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon. Storm number two comes in Sunday night and Monday. As far as the precipitation is concerned, snow inland, sleet and snow, which is typical right along the coastline. The variables as usual, the track or tracks of the storms, the location of the heavy band of precip depends on that. And of course, Number two, the storm, what it will do during this uh, situation as well depends on how much snow we will get. Mix snow and rain to the south.